It is now or never as rescuers work to free the remaining soccer team members trapped in a Thailand cave. Good evening, everybody. I'm Peter Downs. And I'm Suzanne Marquez. Given the weather and the lack of oxygen, the window is closing for a safe and successful rescue. And now crews appear ready to make a big move. KKLI's Christy Fajardo is live at the Satellite Center with more on this very delicate operation. Christy? Very delicate indeed. Nine teammates to go, but four have already been rescued. It's not clear if all four were boys or if their coach was among them. We are getting conflicting reports. What we do know, however, is that the Thai government says all all four of the rescued are strong and are now going, undergoing medical evaluations. From Thailand, images of hope. This photo appears to show one of the four rescued teammates being taken to a helicopter. Ambulances took the others to local hospitals after they emerged from the caves where they'd been trapped for more than two weeks. You can't make a horror movie that would even compare. And I've been involved in cave rescue for 30 years, and I cannot uh, even think of one that was this complicated. Officials are now gearing up for the second phase of the operation, but say it could be up to four days before the other nine teammates are all rescued, and they could get some high-tech help. Billionaire Elon Musk tweeted out this footage of a kid-sized submarine being tested at the pool at Palisades Charter High School. Divers pulled it through tight spaces, simulating the mountain caves where the boys are trapped. On Sunday night, Musk said the sub was already on a plane bound for Thailand. The good news is, is that the first phase was successful. They've had an opportunity to show it works. It's still dangerous, but it's much better odds for the remaining kids to come out now because of those initial ones. Before dive teams attempt another rescue, they have to refill their oxygen tanks and replenish supplies. No easy feat in the dark and windy caves that stretch for two and a half miles. The dive teams are taking out groups of four at a time. It is already Monday in Thailand, and the phase two of the operation could get underway before daybreak here in Los Angeles.